What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today I'm going to be doing a jailbreak question and answer session for you guys to answer all the questions you guys left in the comments of my latest jailbreak video, how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3. If you haven't caught that video, the link will be down there in the description. But you guys did have a lot of confusion that I wanted to clear up about the latest jailbreak and jailbreaking in general, so let's jump right into it. Now the first question you might have is how do you jailbreak? Well, like I said, I posted a video on this earlier in the week. The link will be in the description. You can use a computer, but I prefer to use my device directly in Safari on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. It simplifies things and brings us back to the jailbreak me days. Super easy, guides in the description, like I said. Now, if it doesn't actually work, keep watching this video. Your questions may be answered. Now, a lot of you guys were wondering what the semi-tethered jailbreak means and what exactly you can expect with a semi-tethered jailbreak. Basically what semi-tethered means is that if you run out of battery or need to restart your device for any reason, you will need to re-jailbreak, but don't worry, it's very, very simple with this jailbreak. I will show you later on in this video what it actually means to restart and re-jailbreak your device. It's only a couple seconds of effort, so stick around for the end of the video. I'll show you guys how to semi-tether your jailbreak if you have to reboot for any reason. A lot of you guys were confused what devices the jailbreak will work on. Just to be very, very clear, you need an iPhone 5S or higher. Now that's the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6S, and iPhone SE. Any iteration of that will work. If you don't have an iPhone 5S or higher, this will not work. This will probably be updated soon to support the lower generation devices, but as of now, it just works on the newer devices. Does this work on the iPad Pro and iPod Touch 6? Yes, it does. It was updated today. It works just like it did in the previous method. So the jailbreak link in the description will still work if you have an iPad Pro or iPod Touch 6 as of today. Now, a lot of you guys were wondering, if apps are crashing, how do you fix that? Well, if you are specifically talking about Cydia applications, the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak does not have many of the Cydia applications updated just yet. They will be updated in the near future, but because the jailbreak is so new, the developers have not had a chance to update those applications, so they are probably going to be crashing for a little bit before they're updated. Now, if you are talking about a non-jailbreak application, like an App Store app, those should not be affected. It's a different issue if you have those applications crashing. But if you have a specific example, go ahead and leave a comment in the description. I'll do my best to help you out. A lot of you guys are probably going to ask about Pokemon Go crashing after the jailbreak. Well, to fix that, basically you need to download a Cydia tweak called Pokepatch. I'll put a source in the description for you guys to add. All you have to do is go to the sources tab, click edit, click add, Go ahead and add the source for Pokepatch in the description, and this will prevent Cydia from crashing when you install it. Now, the reason that Cydia actually crashes Pokemon Go is that Niantic, the developers of Pokemon Go, do not want you to run Pokemon Go and use Cydia to cheat. So when you open up Pokemon Go, it looks for Cydia installed. If you do have Cydia installed, it will crash Pokemon Go. Pokepatch from Cydia will fix that. So go ahead and add the source, install Pokepatch, and you should be good to go. Also, speaking of Pokemon Go, how do you guys install those awesome tweaks that I was talking about in Cydia to actually tweak Pokemon Go and hack it? Well, to answer this question, a video will be posted later in the week on this. I've also got a bunch of guides on how to install hacks for you guys in the description on my channel. So any Pokemon Go hack videos will be posted down there in the description. Go ahead and check out the description for all the links if you want to get Pokemon Go hacks, tweaks, and mods. A lot of people, and me personally included, were having issues with FaceTime and location services not working working after the jailbreak. To fix this, all you need to do is reboot your device and re-jailbreak it. This goes along with the semi-tethered info I was talking about earlier. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to actually reboot your device if you run out of battery or something like that and re-jailbreak it without ever going to a computer. So as a quick demo, if you do run out of power, I'm just going to simulate. Let's say your phone died and you needed to re-jailbreak it to get your jailbreak tweaks working or fix any issues with the jailbreak. I'm going to go ahead and slide to turn off my device here and I will come back when it is rebooted it up. Now when your device reboots back up, whether or not it was dead or you just needed to restart it for whatever reason, to re-jailbreak your device, really simple, just takes a couple seconds. Open up the PP Jailbreak app on your home screen, click the little circle, go ahead and click the power button to go to the lock screen. You should see a little notification on the lock screen. Right here, that means the jailbreak's working. It should automatically respring just like it just did for me. And I will show you guys that City is working when I go ahead and get back onto my lock screen. 
Now I'm back on the lock screen guys, I completed the semi-tethered process and I can go ahead and open up Cydia. You will see that it is working now and all of my jailbreak tweaks will be working. Now this is the same process to fix FaceTime and location services. After you do this, just go ahead and re-enable FaceTime and services for the location and you should be good to go. Now another question you guys had is how do you actually remove the jailbreak? Well to remove the jailbreak and Cydia from your device, what you have to actually do is plug up your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch to the computer, go ahead and open up iTunes and click restore in iTunes as of now, that is the best method to remove the jailbreak from your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now lastly, some of you may have never jailbroken before, and you really are wondering if this is your first jailbreak, should you actually go and jailbreak your device? Well, that's really up to you. Jailbreaking provides customization, tweaks, and installations that Apple doesn't allow you to have, usually on a stock device. However, jailbreaking also voids your warranty temporarily while you are jailbroken, and it may compromise some speed and security, so in the end, everyone is different, but I do think it's worth it. But that's really a question for you to ask yourself. Do you want customization or do you want speed, security, and stock goodness? Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it answered a lot of your jailbreak questions. If it did help you out, definitely rate the video thumbs up down there in the description and subscribe for more jailbreak videos. Also check out my links in the description to get paid iOS and Android apps absolutely free. I've also got my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and website pages down there in the description for you guys to stay in touch with me. And as always, stay awesome guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.